just going to use this half, half and half of Grumbacher titanium white, liquid, liquid white, whatever you want to call it. But it's just made of titanium white and linseed oil. If I'm using regular oil paints, I'll just buy either Grumbacher liquid finish. It's like their, their brand of liquid white, Bob Ross liquid white, Bill Alexander magic white. Is it a... Brandon Thomas has amazing white. Whatever thin white paint you, you might want to use. They all kind of work the same. Although I do like the way Alexander's Magic White smells. They put lavender in it, so it's quite nice. It's quite nice, uh, quite nice smell to it. Most of them smell like harmful, toxic chemicals. So it's nice to have one that doesn't. Sometimes I go in little circles little extra. Really this part's just finding a, to find a way for coating the canvas that you like. It works well for you. It doesn't hurt your wrist. When I first started, I, I was doing, I don't know what I was doing, but I was messing up my wrist the way I was doing it. Hurt really bad around my thumb. So, I just kind of take it slow now. Might have been going too fast. But it might have been the problem. All right. Once I got it mostly coated, and coated, I just mean I can see the I can see the shine on it. And I just go left to right. And that kind of wipes off whatever was extra. And on the sides, I usually don't put enough, so I just try to put more in. Especially down on the bottom, I tend to miss that a bunch. All right, left, right, left, right. All right. There we go. That one's done. And this episode is Glacier Lake. Season 28, episode 6, 7. We're going to have a big mountain, so it'll be fun. I haven't done too many glaciers, but a lot of knife work there. All right, I'll shake that out in the trash. Wipe this one. This is my brush that I use specifically for liquid white, or magic white, whatever you want to call it. I found that if I use other brushes, for whatever reason, this one tends to get sticky, so I try to isolate it to one brush. Spin it around, spin it around. You can also beat this one. Gets the water out of it. Make sure you wipe it off. Cool. Okay. So the canvas has magic or liquid white. We've got some new colors here. I'll just go through them left to right. Raw umber, dark sienna, or burnt sienna, sap green, midnight black, ivory black. Uh, this is a little bit of black and Prussian blue mixed together. Illusion crimson, ultramarine blue, and Prussian blue, titanium white, the Hansa yellow again, cadmium yellow, uh, yellow ochre, and cadmium red hue. All right, let's get started. Somebody's buzzing me. Oh, I didn't clean this brush. That was my bad. I should have cleaned this one. I cleaned all my other ones, but I didn't clean this one. This is my Trilon brush that I used to coat the, or I used for the first coat, so whatever background color I'm using. Thalo blue, uh, dark sienna, whatever colors you normally use. But I use this one because I can wash it if I'm using water mixed boils and it doesn't puff out. Normally if you wash a brush, like a bristle, bristle brush with water, it'll puff out, but this one stays flat, which is what you want. If you're trying to do that, use water mixed oils. If you're not, you don't have to worry about it. If I'm not using water mixed oils, I don't even, I usually don't even clean my brush. In between, just wipe it with a paper towel. And it's also getting really hot up here. My AC is only 8,000 BTU, not a 16,000 BTU, which it should be. I'm gonna throw some blue up here. This is ultramarine blue. Again. Little extra up here. Left to right, left to right. Extra. Don't throw your brush in the trash. 
Sometimes it happens. Alright, I think that sky is good. And we're gonna make some water here. Left to right, right to left. Left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. I didn't put enough liquid white there in the bottom. I knew I did. You can tell because there's like a straight line of white. There we go. Hey, I gotta go, but I commented on your big ocean painting and looked at some of your other videos. Keep up the great painting. Thanks, Black Diamond. Much appreciated. Glad to have you here. If you have any paintings that you do, I always try to follow folks. Uh, just message me or ping me on Instagram, whatever. I'll give you a follow. So I like learning how other people paint. Mocap, hello. Over on Twitch, nice to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Just wiping out the blue from this one before I go into the Prussian blue. And then I'm gonna darken the corners, they say. Just kind of pulls your eyes into the paint. Maybe a little bit towards the middle, mostly on the top corner. That's where I like putting it. I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit there. Something like that. And maybe I'll do just a little bit in the corners where I messed up. There we go. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Whatever works. Whatever works. Wipe this off again. And then unpause. I'm gonna use my two inch brush here a second. Two and a half inch brush point it out a little bit better. Bob's making some clouds. These are my favorite types of clouds to make. The ones he's doing here, two inch brushing, just goes pop, 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 pop. That's my favorite. That's my favorite way to make them. All right, let's get this guy in here. We're just gonna blend it. Circle, hold the circle. There we go. That's the first layer. I'm going to do another layer just because I like doing clouds like this. Corner, top corner, mash it in just like that. Start up here, just tap like you're knocking on the door. the opposite side to tap down. That blends out the bottom and then I just blend out. Little circles. There we go. And those are simple, simple easy clouds you can do. Just the two inch brush. This is a two and a half inch brush, sorry. But if you only have a one inch brush you can do that too. And there we go dropping my brush again. Just one of those days. Spin this around, spin that around. I'm gonna blend that up just a little bit more. Too spotty for me. There we go. 
wipe them out. And I think we're making the big mountain, big mountain here in a sec. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, palette knife. Midnight black. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. There's already blue in there the way I mixed it up, but I'm just adding a little bit more. All right, this one goes into the clouds. Up and down. Maybe it comes down over there. Sorry for that scraping the glass too. Alright, there's a gap. Let me do another one down here. Maybe it comes up a little bit more. Alright. We're doing another one down here. This is already a mess. Just a complete mess. Alright, wipe that out. That blue paint. Alright, and then we're going to do it from the left side here. This is straight Prussian blue there. I don't even know if you'd be able to see this. Probably not, because it's so dark. But very dark blue paint here. Oh, that wasn't the fun time? <laughs> it just said fun time. I thought we were already having fun. There we go. Wipe the knife off. Oh, we went the two inch brush here. That's gutsy. That's a, that's a gutsy play. Alright. Two inch brush straight into the white. A lot of paint. There, this brush holds a lot, a lot, a lot of paint. You're probably thinking this is terrible. This is the worst thing you've ever seen in a painting, and you might be right. from Bob here, but that's okay. I had dark color left anyway. We can fix anything that we break. Just because I had that that paint up there that was just kind of hanging out, and I didn't like how it was looking. It's like a snow just floating on, out in the clouds for no reason. It didn't make any sense. Actually, scrape that. Get that out of there. Back into the two inch brush here. And now pull that guy down. And there's probably a gallon of paint up here on this, up on this part here. I don't want this to be more shadow there. That's okay. Whoops. Unpause. Color. Throw this one out. <laughs> I'm just butterfingers today. Don't put me on the basketball team. Oh wow. So we're taking this two inch brush with a little bit of blue. This is going to be tricky. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. 
Not sure what this is turning into. It's gonna be like a some type of glacier here. brushes here but I don't so I'm at a bit of a disadvantage as far as speed goes. streaming I know some people watch on they watch on Twitter but I'm not streaming on Twitter today because of the restream they added in a thing where you have to pay like 16 bucks a month to stream to three or more platforms so I pick I just pick twitch and twitch and YouTube so I don't feel like paying for it just yet Those. I think this is our shadow color, so let's use that real quick. It's kind of hard to do this with a two inch brush. But. Let's see. I need to fix this one more time. This is it. This is the last time. Alright. Did that one. A little bit there. This is just the regular size palette knife. I'm not using the fancy small one. Some of this light blue. Some of these. They just look a little too dark. They don't look like a glacier. You know? There we go. Now it looks more glaciery. Doesn't that look more like a glacier? Something like that. Maybe a little bit on this guy. Not too much. I've already got all the, the dark paint that I've picked up. So this is just going to turn like a dark blue. There we go. Wipe that off. Wipe my little two inch brush off. It's just got a lot of blue in there as well. Blue and black. Black and blue. plane here. Why not? Why not add more planes? We can add as many planes as we want to here. I like it. Just 
a little bit of highlight on him up at the top. Maybe towards the bottom. There we go. He's using his little uh, hockey brush, hickey brush, blender brush, whatever you want to call it. And some more white here. Added a stone in the same spot, so we're already good there. I don't know if I should blend these at all. Maybe I should just a little bit. You can see too many of the brush strokes, and you shouldn't when you're that far away. You don't want to see brush strokes. If I had a blender brush, I could probably do this a little bit better. But that's okay. There, that's no good. Ruined. You can't ruin this. It's impossible. There we go. Looks like it might storm here in a bit. So hopefully the signal doesn't cut out. Just wiping this two and a half inch brush off real quick. Make sure he's nice and cleaned up. Probably move it out just a little bit here. Maybe I'll add a tree in there or something. That's usually what you do. I'm just misting out the bottom. If you pick up some dark paint, you can just blend it out. Because there's so much white on there from the glacier. up the blue gray blue gray not sure I know how to do that so I have all kinds of problems mixing colors I need an app that I can just aim and it'll tell me what color I got that would help out a bunch gray, blue, I don't know. It's a color. I'll just say that. Got our old fan brush. Mm, maybe some more white. It looks more white than mine. Something like that. That's more, that's more accurate. You can always make it darker. It's hard to make it not lighter without using gallons of paint. That's too light. And you just add some more dark to it. And then it pops out. Just like that. Might have gone too far down with my glacier, but I think it looks okay for now. like that. Now we'll get this guy. Punch it. Left to right. There we go. Alright. Now what are we doing? Oh, he's making a little bigger tree. Let's do that. Add some browns to that. That was just uh, ivory black, sap green, a little bit of sienna, burnt sienna there. Maybe I'll do this. One right there. I'll try and put them in between the, the rocks here.
so I don't cover them up. So I spent so much time putting them in there. I don't want to cover them all up. doing it. We don't want to go too off the rails. What do you think? Maybe another one over there? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Just one. Maybe he's a little baby. Maybe he doesn't even go down to the tree line. Maybe he just stays up there. Something like that. Oh, he's putting a waterfall in. Okay, I'm glad I didn't do it then. So we wouldn't be able to put in this nice little waterfall in. Alright, I put the waterfall in first. Probably should have put it in second. That's okay. like he's even farther back by putting a tree in front. So now you can't even tell that there's a little waterfall back there. He's just kind of, he's just kind of hanging out. He's hidden. Secret waterfall. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to wipe this palette knife off. Should probably should add a water line in here. Let's do that. And I just tap it in the the old bin of liquid white that I made. And I'll add some actual white to that. Sometimes I actually flip my uh, palette knife over. I just like the way it looks. Some up here. Not too much. Maybe this is a little darker. You can also pull left to right with the palette knife. And that kind of, oh, I just got a bunch of paint on my wrist. Try and clean up the spot here. That's where I, this is where I normally mix all my light colors, is up here on the right. All my dark colors I use in the middle. That's just how I usually do it. You can do it however you, however you want. Okay, he's putting in some gigantic trees here. I didn't put any in because I kind of like not having giant trees in my. But maybe we can put one right here. Just one, one lone. Tall tree. I push up with mine. You don't. You don't have to push up. I just. That's what I do. white color with some yellow, maybe some ochre, some sap green, maybe some more sap green, something like that. And it should pick up enough of this color that it'll not stick out too bad, but maybe it will stick out too bad. That's okay too. Not really sure what I'm going for here. No, 
arms pushing in. Make it look like grass. There's a few ways to do grass too. You don't have to do it like flat pushing in like this, but you can also do it uh, down. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it yet, but you can do it that way too. Just a little more white here. Just mixing up a thin white. Sorry if that scraping sounds too loud. Something like that. He's putting in some stones. I don't usually put stones in mine. But if you want to put them in, they're not too hard. You just get some uh, liquid white here. And the other side, you just run through dark, dark color. Any color, really, brown, whatever. I'll just go a little left to right strokes. Maybe I'll do a bigger one here. There's a bigger, bigger rock right there. It's more of that dark color. Maybe one cuts across. Something like that. Something like that. Then I'll go back into the white and add a little water line back up here. Just smooth out the rocks. Maybe I'll put some down here too. Not all of it, just on some spots. There we go. That's good enough for that. Go home, hit the home button. Not bad. Maybe we'll add a little bush in. Just to add one. Just to have a friend. There we go. He's going to be really bright too. Yellow ochre. Liquid white. It's going to tap. Some there. Some there. Maybe one over here. One in the corner. That's it. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to do there. Hey, a little bit more up here. Yeah. That's good enough. All right, we're going to wipe that off. And I think with that, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to call it a day. Maybe play Fortnite later. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do? Definitely not going to think about work. That's for sure. All right, some linseed oil on the script liner into this red I kind of wiggle it back and forth that just makes it so it uh, unclumps it gets kind of clumpy and I'm going to put my signature let's put it back by the waterfall where you can't even see it this is our secret spot no one will ever look here tiny signature alright we're going to put the date Two, two. Done and done. I'm going to swirl him around in the water. Tap it out. That one's good. I'm going to wipe this one off. And then the rest of them I can do here in a bit. We'll take it down though. See how we did. Wasn't too bad. Not our worst glacier. There we have it. Bob Ross, season 20. Eight, episode six, Glacier Lake. Up, down, left, right. There we go. That's the painting. And I think that's it for today. Thanks everybody for joining. A lot of chatter today, so that was good to see. Hope everybody's having a good time. Hope you have a good week. And thanks again. I'll catch you all 